Okay, everybody, hope you're doing well. I saw this and it was one of those things that's shocking. You're like, uh-uh, I know this isn't happening, but unfortunately it is. Remember the video I did, it's been maybe a year and a half. Uh, I talked about how the children, when they behave, basically they deserve what I consider uh, a onesie that's like A, B, C, one, two, three, felony onesie. Mm -hmm. An ABC one, two, three felony. That's what you're about to say on the screen if you haven't already. And I've heard people talk about, oh, the prison of pipeline happens in the school. The pipe to prison pipeline happens in the home. The pipe to prison pipeline happens in the home. Behavior is learned. How people operate, communicate their behavior, that is just basically, you're looking at uh, a product of their environment, a product of, of the home, their culture. And there are cultures within cultures. It's already hard enough, especially being a minority and if you're smart and educated. So imagine being stupid, dumb, ignorant, and potentially violent. How do you see that turning out? It's not. That's what I can tell you. It's, it, it's not. These two, these kids here, Watch the language, listen to the language. It is horrible. I, 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 I was really shocked. But then I'm not used to dealing with Bebe's kids. I'm not used to dealing with gutter trash. And that's what I said. And the sad thing is some people in the community, they may think that this type of behavior is cute. We well, you know what kid don't do. Okay. It's sad. What kind of parenting, or I guess I should say the lack thereof, what the heck is going on in this home? And then I thought about it. I cannot imagine the teachers, oh, heavens to Betsy. I can't imagine the teachers having to deal with kids like this and deal with the parent. And you wonder why. When I made that statement about, I did a video and I was saying there were some teachers. These are primarily, there were some white teachers and they were saying, we're just going to basically just show up and collect our check. They don't want to learn. And I was like, no, you just, they, they can't just do that. You just can't show up and collect your check. You cannot just do that. And then I told you, one well, of my best friend, she is a teacher. And she's like, oh, the kids, these kids, the way they are, you have no idea. And I've heard a many horror story. Behavior is learned. The pipe to prison pipeline starts in the home. So as you can see, this is, I don't even think he's in school yet. I'm thinking he maybe, maybe he's a tall three or four. Listen to the language. And this will give you an idea of what's going on in the home, what's put before them. And this may be a mother and a father. It's a man in her some way. Because I want to, I want you to see how this future juvenile delinquent the words that he's using. Also, aside from the words that he's using, watch how he does his body language. I guess this is a gang gangster baby. You might as well line him up. And you wonder why some schools are closing down. I, th I think I get it. Chicago, you wonder why they're not investing in you. Taking over, the, we're going to take over the city. You think somebody's going to come and invest in that? Running off tax dollars, all the robbery, all the crime, all the violence. And did you really think someone's going to invest in you? And see, the hood rat people, very few of them are downtown, you know, at those council meetings. Those are some that see what's going on. The hood rat not even worried about it until they get that knock. Well, now I get it. If this is what they're raising, I have no problem with them counseling that voucher. You wonder why, for some black women, especially when you have sons, some people don't want to lease to you. And newsflash for you saying, well, other folks, 
all the phrases they're doing that but they don't have your problem it's just like saying oh no look what happened something bad happened okay but that's my issue it's not affecting the person down the street behaviors learn this is a good i this is a good example i think as to why uh those vouchers are being phased out this is why like i said chicago go ahead and keep it up you really think you finna run something you i don't know how they saw this mess turning out you really thought that this is going to be okay you gonna learn today so yo check this out so much for the kids unbelievable i had watched this twice i am shocked without further ado keep on thinking about chicago all those teens a lot of teens they get in trouble they start out like this that's why they knock you off their little section eight mm -hmm. i understand it He just said, you hear that? Look how young he is. Look how young he is and hit at the officer. You want to hit at the officer, huh? Isn't that something? Let me let her go ahead and get her what I watched and I almost have no words. But police are the problem though, right guys? That's a product of systemic racism. We can talk about instances of police brutality or police officers could possibly do their jobs better. But if we are not fixing the cultural problems that are brewing in houses like this, we're going to have a massive problem. Those little kids who are doing and saying those heinous things in that video, they're going to grow up. And what do you think that's going to look like? So see, Clay. there he is right there. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who the hell wants that in the daycare? Who the hell wants that going to school with their children? Look, uh, I mean, this is like, this is not even a kid. This is like a, a minor child. And it looks like it's about maybe three or four of them out there. The wrong ones always having kids. The wrong ones are having kids. The ones that don't need to at all. How are we going to blame the school for this? As I said before, they're not going to sit up and talk to you like I'm saying, hey, this behavior has got to stop. We, we all, Everybody knows it. See, ignorant people do not listen, especially hood people. So what is going to happen, uh, I'm afraid what's going to happen is the hood, like this, or this hood mentality, these, these ignorant people, you get rid of, I smart yourself. Again, you wonder why, like in Chicago, oh, they thinking we are section A. Well, if you don't know how to live like people, you're always tearing up everything. You're having these heathen kids that are, that, that are doing things. Guess what? There's no sympathy for you. And they may think this is kind of cute. All you're doing is just setting the stage. But when you look up, and I hate to say this, because it'll also affect a lot of good, decent women. But see what's happening. They're not going to see the mother who's at home with her children and they're behaving in school and doing well. It'll be a whole lot of this. So then when you look up, for, for the harass, people will have no mercy. They will have no sympathy. You wonder why they're building more jails than schools. Gee, I, I thought about this. I cannot imagine a teacher having to encounter this little thing. 
See, he's still young, so as far as I'm concerned, you can bend the sap, but the parents not gonna do it. Ghetto trash. When hood rats have children, this is what you have. And you know what? He needs to go ahead and get used to seeing the police now because guess what? Your daddy can't raise you and your mama, guess what? The police will. This is a good example of what I call ABC 123 felony. He should have worn that kind of ones. The ABC 123 felony. His body language, shut up. And then look, quick to get vi- notice that. You, are, you, are you trying to make, uh, make contact with someone? The aggressor. Imagine this little thing if they bust him somewhere and he at a birth and you he get the party invite. Oh my goodness. You wonder why the black middle class, the black people that are, that are in business, they don't want to deal with this. This is why. You know why wonder why no one's coming for the BC. This is why. You wonder why this, I think, is a good reason why they shut those non-performing schools down in Chicago. A whole lot of this. And then they sent it, and they taken away our Section 8 and, and, and giving it to them. Well, they already probably saw uh, what you did with it. And even that's surprising, to be able to pass down a Section 8 place to live. I, I, I never heard of that. Can buy a house on Section A, then pass down housing on Section I never in my life heard of that. So the sympathy for people at this level, man, is run out. And so the ones at the top, they really don't care about just the average person. But this right here, this trash, that's why when things happen and you have a trashy background, no one's caring. What kind of... They really should call CPS. And the sad thing is, even though he's very young... Who the hell want to take him into your home? Over here, I'm not trying to go to jail because I'm not going to have that kind of behavior. We're not trying to go to jail. This needs to be handled out way in the rural area. We can't nobody here in the rural area. That's what, uh-huh, a strong hand in a rural area was needs to happen. And we can probably go ahead and change this behavior. It's going to take a while. Oh, but it can be changed. It needs to be in a rural area. Mm-hmm. Who wants the decent child to come play with this? Imagine a teacher having to deal with this. The seed of ghetto poverty D. The seed of angry poverty. Poverty D and poverty P get together, law create a tragedy and release it on society. Who wants to deal with this? I can't imagine. Who in the heck wants to deal with this? But this is where we are. And you will find some Mary trying to sympathize with it. And I thought about it. Why the police though? The police probably there because the grown-ups probably acting a fool. I'd have on a lunch break and lunch break and just decided to go, go see little T T, little violent T T, little terrible Tyrone. Little T T, little terrible Tyrone. The language. I had a video I was going to do so much going on. The language. All I'll say is this. If this is what some people are going to raise and they're on the system, I applaud them for taking away the voucher. Yeah. You're just feeding the enemy. This is These are the kind who kill out the business owners, beat up other kids. Uh-huh. It's why you, you can't move within this community in a positive manner. You can't be kind and gentle and human. You got to be tough all the time. If not, they'll come running for you, gunning for you. Just one little, just on this little screen, which I can see a little turbo TT, he can upset a whole classroom with the teacher. Other people are wanting to learn. 
can't because because little tt little one two three abc felony he's gonna go whatever his name is let's say it's jamal he's guaranteed to go from jamal to what's your name inmate number seven eight four two three nine eleven if he does that to the police what do you think he did there's no respect for authority there's no respect for people period so why are the police there probably having to deal with the older dust or dustina if this is what some people are raising and complain about oh they're taking away our section a oh well i i, I don't care i i don't i'm not gonna lie and some of our people want to always try to pretend put it's like putting a lipstick on a pig it's still a pig pretend like everything gonna be okay well you know well yeah these are your future criminals if they're on the system which i don't know can't confirm or deny this is a bad example of using your wound for a wallet and you wonder why in chicago they're taking them off section eight like i said they're not going to be up in your face and just tell you that it's going to do i did a video before like i said what about the bc all this stuff what about the bc what, what did i say is going to happen they're going to what just build around thee but what about them just keep building them. what no, don't worry about them just build around them don't worry about them that's what's going to happen. But what about that it's going to build around them? No, that's all. Just build around them. Not worth dealing with. How are we going to blame this on the school? My question is, how are we going to blame this on, on the police? That's a good example. Yeah, like she said. Look how he's approaching a police, no respect, a little heathen. A heathen, a criminal gremlin in the making. But you ain't still the BC, we'll want to coddle that. We ain't got to say that about him. It, it's, a, I want, it's a matter of time he may get a weapon and, and hurt someone. Let it be you. Some people like to sympathize with behavior. I always for some old dust bucket. Why do you think people, and it doesn't matter, but you know, uh, why do you think people, when it comes to like class, they don't want to, uh, people to have things, they don't want somebody that's real broke down and impoverished around them. And not to say that anyone is better, but sometimes, and you got rich kids, well, middle class kids, all nationalities, they'll do things, but they know a bottom dweller might bring trouble. And then it might be some kind of boxing match. The bottom dweller has nothing to lose. What you gonna do? Sue the parents or what? Sue for the EBT card? Sue for the Section A voucher? So then, when they intertwine, a person may act like this here. Behaviors learned. This is probably how his mother and father, or her baby dad, whoever done put this little thing here, act. And then next thing you know, some pop off. They have something to lose. That's why they don't want to be around that element. That's why black people don't have money. They, they don't want hood, uh-uh. Because they already know it's going to be a whole lot of anger there, a lot of jealousy. And so a hood booger, even their children, they'll be ready to come at you. Yes, I'm going. That's all they know. They want to feel defeat. So all they know is violence, maybe some angry words. And they don't know at the end of the day, once you've expressed those angry words or violent act, you still racket it, pro and broke. Not just financially, because some of them have other kind of money, but on the inside, you're a broken person. And it's going to take a lot of therapy that money may not be able to fix. This here makes me think, is a good, this might be why they're stopping some of those vouchers in Chicago. They see what time it is. This is probably why some of the schools are closed. They said, well, the schools are underperforming. What the heck? Is, how can a whole school underperform? How in the heck can a whole darn school underperform? What the hell going on? What are parents that trash like this on this screen? So close it down. Listen, I get it. I get it. I got it. That's how the replacement is here. It's not much for this to go, but uh, in the ground or in jail. Stop and think. I thought about it. I wonder why the police at the home to begin with. Why the cops stand there? What's what's up? Why why they what they say? Why them there? Why why the police there now? Anybody know? The 
the pipe to prison pipeline, it starts in the home. And here's a good example. I'm going to call him Lil T.T. Terrible Tyrone. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, and imagine having to live live around it. I would put the house up for sale. Ain't no way in hell I'd be with that one. Uh-uh. Forget having a neighborhood party, not with these little things coming. So, yeah, the police are there. He might as well get used to seeing them. That's going to probably end up raising them. He'll probably end up in the system. This is, to them, it might be normal. This is very abnormal. This is, it is shocking. It's, I, I, oh my God, it's, this is just not normal. It's, it's not. Look at this. Anyway, let me know what you all think. The language, the body language, the actions. Who in the heck birthed this? That, I thought about it. Closing whole schools in Chicago, I get, I don't blame them. If you got a lot of this going on and the sad thing, the good has to suffer with the bad. That's why the replacement is here. Things are, everything is by design. This who would have these folks in, what do you call this, in Detroit? I mean, having these uh, illegal immigrants in these, like uh, New York and Chicago, it's by design. Squeeze them out. Deal with it. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share.